Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otsusi, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Today, we are at the back of our farm area, and I am creating a dirt platform because more farms, and this time uh, it will be a, a, a bit more of a literal farm using sheep. And if you remember the initial disaster with the decoration for the uh, for the ink farm then you might already have an idea um, how this farm will turn out but let's not get ahead and uh, I will first outline uh, the uh, structure and then build up the farm and uh, in the end we will do decorations. As you can see the sorting modules are already in place and um, as you might gather from that we are not breeding sheep for their meat but for their wool. There are exactly uh, 16 modules, one for each color. And this is the system where we get the wool the sheep will uh, sit in here, and we have shears in here, uh, which is supplied by uh, this chest. And then the sheared wool will be collected by this uh, uh, hopper minecart below the grass, which, which will uh, suck it up. And then, which is standing on rails, very important. Then it goes through the hopper line into this dispenser and out into the water stream. And the uh, ships, uh, sheeps, not the ships, the sheeps will sit on this grass, munch on it, and then it will turn to dirt. And I will simulate what will happen by turning it into a pass block. Woo! Now it's dirt, no pass block anymore. And we basically have a, a piston tape that uh, goes all around here um, with a gap on the corner, save here. And uh, basically we have a, the observer here behind the block which uh, is munched on and uh, when it turns to dirt or to a pulse block, um, then it is detected by this observer. This block is powered and the uh, redstone line, uh, which goes on this side and on this side, will be powered. And the thing here is the order the piston fires. That's important. First this one, then that, then that. And that so that uh, after one round uh, we are in the same state again and that's why we have this on two ticks delay by this repeater and over here we have two repeaters for that one with two ticks and one tick making it three ticks then we have these two ticks one tick one tick makes four ticks and for the last one we have one tick, one tick, one tick, plus two ticks, five ticks. And that's all there is to it. And due to the uh, grass here on the uh, outside, the paths that we are moving around um, will turn to grass eventually back again and hopefully uh, before the, uh, they make a full round. So uh, uh, what needs to be done is uh, to uh, place uh, grass also on here. So we have uh, this uh, uh, X cross shape and that will speed up uh, the uh, regrassing process. So the difficult part probably will be uh, to get in the sheep. But um, let me do that, then uh, build up uh, the uh, 
the other three missing modules and then we can turn our attention to the uh, building around this contraption. The sheep farm is completed. All that's missing are a few sheeps at the top layer. And yes, this looks huge and ugly. But basically that's the idea because it's a industrial agriculture build and uh, not um, an artistic build. So it will get a bit better, but I thought um, I would show you a little trick in how to wrangle the uh, sheeps to get in place. As you can see, I have the missing colors here and I have leashed each of them separately. Uh, this uh, makes collecting them uh, way simpler as uh, you probably want to take one sheep at a time. And the best way to do it is leash them up and then uh, guide them as well with the leash and uh, a bit of wheat. Uh, and uh, be especially careful uh, when you turn corners like this here so your precious sheep does not plummet down because once they hit the ground they will die due to fall damage or accumulated fall damage to be more precise and tricky thing our corners yeah we managed it nice good sheep and here you go and then here on top switch back to leash only and the sheep drops in so now i only have to repeat it with the uh, other seven sheeps and then i have to figure out the uh, right dimension uh, for this hole here um, to have the right proportions to the tower and another project is completed as you can see, we have all the uh, wool cores, and uh, while I've been uh, working here in the area, it collects. The only thing you can see up there is uh, we do not only get uh, one um, entity, one wool block, but uh, usually more than one, the uh, hopper cannot cope with it. So. Uh, what I should do is wrap this around and uh, let it go uh, through it a second and a third time until it is sorted out. Here on the inside, you can see uh, it's quite spacey and uh, it's still birch plank, but the outside, that's a different story. Ooh, huge building with the uh, red planks and also the tower there at the back. And from a distance, it looks a bit weird uh, with the uh, distortions of the, uh, of the uh, color. And um, if you stare long enough at it, um, it might hurt your eyes. Then here we do have the uh, farm up and running. All four floors. And we can go all the way to the top here and see sheeps are sheared. And let's let's check how many we have not yet uh, used up one single shear while this is running, so uh, there you see it go. And uh, with that, sheep in my face, I'm at the end of uh, this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, 
maybe I should say the uh, inspiration for this farm comes from uh, the sheep farm Exumavoid uh, used in the uh, seventh season of uh, Hermitcraft. And um, that's what I built up here. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you find it even uh, useful, this design. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!